Welcome to Chronicles of the Curious, where we explore the fascinating and mysterious aspects of science and nature. In this video, we will unravel the top 5 common misunderstandings in string theory, one of the most ambitious and controversial theories in modern physics. String theory attempts to unify quantum mechanics and gravity, as well as explain all the fundamental particles and forces in nature, by proposing that the basic building blocks of reality are tiny vibrating strings. However, string theory is also notoriously complex and difficult to test, leading to many misconceptions and confusions among both laypeople and experts. Let's dive into some of these misunderstandings and see if we can shed some light on this enigmatic theory. Number 1. String theory is a single theory. One of the first misunderstandings is that string theory is a single, well-defined theory that makes clear and unique predictions. In fact, string theory is more like a framework or a collection of related theories that share some common features and assumptions, but differ in many details and implications. For example, there are five different versions of string theory, each with its own set of equations and parameters, that describe different types of strings and their interactions. These versions are called type 1, type IIA, type IIB, heterotic O, and heterotic E string theories. They are all mathematically consistent and compatible with quantum mechanics and special relativity, but they lead to different spectra of particles and forces. However, it is believed that these five versions are not really distinct, but rather different limits or approximations of a more fundamental and elusive theory called M-theory. M-theory is supposed to incorporate all the features of string theory, as well as include higher dimensional objects called brains, which can be seen as generalizations of strings. M-theory is also expected to reveal the true nature and dimensionality of space-time, which is not fixed in string theory but rather depends on how the strings vibrate and curl up in extra dimensions. However, M-theory is not yet fully understood or formulated, and it remains a major challenge and goal for string theorists. Number 2. String theory requires 10 or 11 dimensions. This is partly true, but also misleading. String theory does indeed predict that space-time has more dimensions than the familiar three spatial dimensions and one temporal dimension that we experience in everyday life. However, these extra dimensions are not necessarily observable or accessible to us, because they are very small and compactified. This means that they are curled up into tiny shapes or geometries that are invisible at large scales, just like a thin wire looks like a one-dimensional line from far away, but reveals its two-dimensional circular cross-section when zoomed in. The number of extra dimensions depends on which version of string theory we are considering. The five versions of string theory require six extra dimensions, making a total of ten dimensions of spacetime. M-theory requires seven extra dimensions, making a total of eleven dimensions of spacetime. However, these numbers are not fixed or fundamental, but rather depend on how we choose to describe the theory. For example, we can relate different versions of string theory by changing the number of dimensions by mathematical operations called dualities. Dualities are transformations that map one description of the theory to another one that looks different but is physically equivalent. For instance, type IA string theory in 10 dimensions can be mapped to M theory in 11 dimensions by a duality that involves decompactifying one dimension in type IA and compactifying one dimension in M theory. Therefore, string theory does not require a specific number of dimensions, but rather allows for different dimensional perspectives that are equally valid and useful. Number 3. String theory implies a multiverse. This idea stems from the fact that string theory has a huge number of possible solutions or vacua, which correspond to different ways of compactifying the extra dimensions and breaking the symmetry of the theory. Each vacuum can give rise to a different low-energy effective theory that describes the observable particles and forces at large scales. Some of these effective theories may resemble our own universe, while others may be radically different or even incompatible with life. The problem is that string theory does not tell us which vacuum is the correct one or how to select it from the vast landscape of possibilities. This is known as the vacuum selection problem or the landscape problem, and it is one of the biggest challenges and criticisms of string theory. One possible way to address this problem is to invoke the anthropic principle, which states that we can only observe and measure the properties of the universe that are compatible with our existence as observers. In other words, we live in a vacuum that allows for life to emerge and evolve, and we cannot access or test other vacua that do not. This implies that there may be many other universes or regions of space-time that have different vacua and physical laws, and that we are just living in one of them by chance. This is the idea of the multiverse or the megaverse, which is often invoked in popular science and fiction. 
However, string theory does not imply or require a multiverse, but rather allows for it as a possible scenario. The multiverse is not a prediction or a consequence of string theory, but rather a hypothesis or a speculation that tries to explain the apparent fine-tuning and diversity of the string landscape. It is not clear if the multiverse is testable or falsifiable, or if it belongs to the realm of science or philosophy. Moreover, there may be other ways to solve the vacuum selection problem without resorting to the multiverse, such as finding some dynamical mechanism or principle that singles out a unique or special vacuum. Therefore, string theory does not imply a multiverse, but rather challenges us to find new ways to understand and test it. Number 4. String theory is not falsifiable. This is a common criticism of string theory, which claims that it is not a scientific theory but rather a mathematical framework or a philosophy. The main reason for this criticism is that string theory operates at very high energies and small distances that are beyond the reach of current or foreseeable technology. For example, to directly probe the size and shape of strings, we would need a particle collider that can reach the Planck energy, which is about 10 to the 19th times higher than the energy of the Large Hadron Collider. Such a collider would be impractical or impossible to build, and therefore we cannot test string theory in a direct way. However, this does not mean that string theory is not falsifiable or testable in any way. String theory can still make indirect predictions or implications that can be tested by other means, such as cosmology, astrophysics, or condensed matter physics. For example, string theory predicts the existence of new particles or phenomena that could have observable effects on the early universe, such as cosmic strings, axions, moduli fields, or extra dimensions. These effects could be detected by precise measurements of the cosmic microwave background radiation, the gravitational wave spectrum, or the dark matter distribution. Moreover, string theory can also provide new insights or methods for studying other physical systems that are not directly related to strings, such as black holes, quark-gluon plasmas, quantum phase transitions, or quantum information. These systems can be explored by experiments or simulations that can test or confirm some aspects of string theory. Therefore, string theory is not unfalsifiable or untestable, but rather requires new and creative ways to connect it with reality. Number 5. String theory is the ultimate theory of everything. This is often a misconception or an exaggeration that stems from the ambitious goals and scope of string theory, which aims to unify all the fundamental particles and forces in nature, including gravity. String theory is indeed a very powerful and elegant framework that can incorporate many features and phenomena that are otherwise difficult or impossible to explain by other theories. For example, string theory can resolve the singularities and paradoxes of black holes and quantum gravity, as well as provide a consistent framework for quantum cosmology and inflation. String theory can also explain why there are exactly three generations of quarks and leptons in nature, as well as predict new particles or symmetries that could be discovered in future experiments. However, this does not mean that string theory is the final or complete theory of everything, or that it can answer all the questions that we may have about reality. String theory still has many open problems and challenges that need to be solved or understood, such as finding its full non-perturbative formulation, M-theory, determining its unique vacuum state, the landscape problem, deriving its low-energy effective action, the standard model, explaining its origin and justification, the quantum gravity problem, and testing its predictions and implications, the experimental problem. Moreover, there may be other questions or aspects of reality that are beyond the scope or reach of string theory such as the origin and nature of consciousness, free will, morality, meaning, or beauty. These questions may require other types of knowledge or methods that are not based on string theory or physics. Therefore, string theory is not the ultimate theory of everything, but rather a very promising and profound theory of something. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new about string theory and its common misunderstandings. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos on science and nature. Also, let us know in the comments what other topics you would like us to cover in the future. Thank you for watching and stay curious.